the next one I got I got from eBay and you can tell because well not on camera but it's got a mark there which is really annoying and as it's a uh, double disc I'm gonna have to ch change you know I have to buy an extra case single cases are easier to replace and also it's one of these thick ones like the Criterion DVDs so it's going to be even harder to replace well, I'm just fussy but I got this because it's the region 1 2 disc um, 2 disc set rather than the 1 disc we have and it opens like like that and then you have disc 1 and then you open this compartment and you have this too and of course you have your chapter selection just a Kevin Smith movie I didn't have but I like Jane and Silent deserve their own movie it's not as good as you know Clerks um, or Rats Chasing Amy but hey it's fun Sorry that I keep changing camera angles, it's just my camera's really annoying me and the little tripod is. But hey, the next one is The Best Man. This is a film I watched about a year ago and it's because I like Terence Howard, <laughs> which is really shallow of me. But hey, I buy films because of the actors sometimes and I love Terence Howard and actually I really enjoyed it. Um, it's got Tim Diggs, who's also pretty cool. Um, it's just, uh, I guess, I guess it'd be class as romantic comedy. But um, it was good. So, and this was two pound ninety seven from Asda again, from their website. But I got to tell you, their delivery was is rubbish. So slow. But I finally got it, and I like the white DVD. Sort of the case. I like white cases. I guess it's because it's about a wedding. So that's the best man. And next one is Godsend, um, which is a film about uh, this kid. He dies. Can't remember how old he is, but let's say he's oh he's eight. It says he's eight. He's eight. Um, he dies. Parents devastated. And the doctor, a doctor comes up to them and says, um, we, you know, we can use special thing to make a copy of your son, which is all fine and dandy until he turns eight, then he starts becoming weird. Yeah, it's one of those kind of movies. And that kid's in a lot of movies. He's in birth, isn't he? Um... It's got Robert De Niro in, and Robert De Niro is awesome, so he's not in it that much, but he's the Doctor. And I liked it. I watched a bit of it on TV for the second time, and I didn't like it as much, but those type of films, they never replayed that well. But got to get the DVD. <clears throat> and I got that one from eBay, just for cheap. And the next one was recommended by... Uh, Brendan Mitchell, he's, his YouTube name's Wet Movie, you should check out his collection, he's got a huge collection and he's showing it bit by bit, so check him out, and he, one of his videos, he was talking about this documentary called Cinemania, and, you know, as soon as he said it, like, the idea of it, I was like, i got to get that, so, got it from Amazon Marketplace for, like, £3, which I'm not going to argue with, because... <laughs> And it came really quickly as well from America. And it's just the disc. Basically, it's about these, um, I think it's, is it four or five subjects? They're, you know, they're devoted to movies in New York. They go, they, pl they plan their life around it, basically, and they don't even have lives. They just watch movies all day in the theatres. Um, it's really interesting. It didn't go as deep as I wanted it to go, like... If they followed just one or two of the subjects, I think it they would have got more into their 
their personal lives, their backgrounds, etc. But where it was following quite a few of them, it didn't. It was still fun, and they were all obsessed in different ways. Like we got uh, the woman there, Roberta. She's, um, I don't know. She's, she, I mean, she's almost scary. And then you got, you know, this guy. He's not so bad actually. One of the guys is obsessed with running times and picture quality. Um, you know, it's it's really weird to watch. It's like, what if I had turned out like that? But I'm not patient enough to sit down and watch, you know, more than a couple of movies a day yet. So I don't think I'll go to that extent. But yeah, it's definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a movie fan yourself because you know you're a movie fan but not like these guys these guys are extreme so check that one out Cinemania it's only available in America as far as I know but you can get it for cheap and thank you Brendan for recommending it and I got Pippi Longstocking the new adventures of Pippi Longstocking it was one of the movies like the boy <coughs> who could fly one of the movies that I would have to watch by myself because I didn't want anyone talking. I was kind of weird like that. And I've watched it every time it was on TV. Had it on video. And there's this picture on the back here. This really brought back memories because this is at the start of the film. And um, I, it's really weird. I remember being like four and we had it on in the background with my cousins and we were just playing around and I just it, it just brought back that Pacific memory it was nothing nothing special it was just playing around with my cousins and I remember that it was really weird I was probably even younger than four I don't know but I haven't rewatched this yet I have I literally haven't watched this since the 80s early 90s at best but I just remember I got the strong you know nostalgic feeling for it so and thanks for cool Duda. Sean for um he brought this up in his one of his videos and I was saying like how much I remember this film and liked it and he said it was cheap so I checked it out and I imported it you know for under four pounds so yeah awesome and I gotta watch this one again because this is really gonna bring back memories very cool I wanna see the original I don't what country is it from, I'm not sure the original one of this because I'm a Gilmore Girls fan and they watched the original in that program so and then I got Sleepy Hollow special edition 2 99 from HMV website it's Johnny Depp and Tim Burton Tim, Tim Burton um, and of course I love anything they do but I have never seen this in full only seen bits on TV, so definitely something I need to watch. And I love Christina Ricci; she's awesome. So, Tonic. just a disc. Can't wait to see um, Sweeney Todd as well.